what's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing Death Stranding. We went to a way station west of Capital Not City, and they want us to build a post box and deliver containers to the next link in our strand, the next knot on our rope. And we're going to, right after we build the post box. In Chapter 2, Amelie, objective head west. And if you've been watching the series, you know we have to relink the chiral network from station to station across what's left of America, now the United Cities of America. Something doesn't look right. See, as I was telling you earlier about how we can build things and upgrade things without materials, there's a package of resins laying on the ground here. That's how you get your materials like steel, rubber, resins, wood. For some reason I think this game looked better on the PS4 when I played it. Maybe it's because of higher expectations. Teaching us not to damage cargo containers. Let's auto arrange, confirm. And we're going to change, oh we're in time fall, time fall damages the cargo containers. Plenty to trip around the weather. We're going to go to options, go to graphic settings, put it on performance instead of quality. Now it's got checkerboard 4K instead of native and 60 frames per second. Surprised it didn't have to restart. Probably looks just as good. Oh, the, the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback's working a lot better now for some reason. That's upsetting. What is this on the ground over here? Delivery to the way station west of Capital Night City. That's right in our path. Because we've got to go, got to put down this post box past the way station and head west further as we reconnect America. Too close. We, should, we might be a, almost at cargo and we're okay, we've got a little bit. Uh, hopefully after we build this PCC, I mean post box. Let's go into the same place, the old magazines, 40 likes for it, yeah, we should get that. And how much weight will be alleviated of after we build this. Designated site. Good. When you're ready to proceed, activate your PCC. Use it to build a post box within the area I specified. Okay. Press and hold the left on the D pad and the stick, right stick to equip it. Hold L2 to select the location, R2 to build it. PCC. Aim it. There was a way to switch buildings, but I don't remember how to do it. I think this game could go native 4K at 60 frames easily, maybe even higher. It's not that complex of a map. 42 likes, S rank. Almost ranked up miscellaneous, but not quite. Good work, Sam. That's a fun compose box. You access it and select share locker. Share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Deposit a ladder and the clock. Deposit a ladder. One second. I mean anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along and use it. If you've got enough supplies, why not leave some behind? If you're right by others, they'll be right by you. I think we can. See, and we can upgrade it a few levels. It says one to two right now, but we can go higher. I think I've seen four. I don't remember really, but 
you get boosts, see at level one it's private locker, share locker. At the next level you get storage capacity boosted, customization slot added, time fall resistance boosted by 50%. So, or we can dismantle it and get some of our resources back. So you, I think we'll drop a ladder and share locker, donate weapons and equipment. We have two climbing anchors on one ladder. Yeah, we'll select the ladder and the climbing anchor and place and share locker. Confirm. Giver of gifts, trophy earned. Make your first donation of weapons, equipment, etc. We're not going to make delivery because we're right near the place we need to be. Got to auto arrange again. That's one of the things that got be a little bit tedious is the auto arranging of the good gear but <clears throat> with such a simple concept you gotta leave things to make it in there just more difficult you know if as soon as you pick something up it auto arranged then what then what would be the challenge about making the delivery you know what I mean I'm so impressed with all the little mechanics and systems they implemented to make it. It's just moving so difficult and challenging. Nice. Even though we're under the weight limit, it's, it's gotten very difficult to move. Through. Get out of the way. Get out the way, get out the way. Fall oh, and can't get up. Yeah, I see with there's well maybe like five or six colors for the whole freaking map. It's all the same general shape too. Hilly rocks. Green, shades of green and brown, gray, a little bit of brown. Not difficult to load in, I would imagine. Like, I bet you an amateur could make this on Unreal Engine 5. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not happy about it being checkerboard 4K at 60 frames. It looks like something like computer com people who work on games work on them through a computer and they're automatically think their computer is godlier than any other console in the world. So they're like, we've got to purposely make it worse than the PC version, just so I don't look bad or something, something like that. Is this the right place? Yeah, it is. Delivering cargo. Like if, if this didn't have such amazing high quality cutscenes so and story. Gotta say. And a top notch actor, this would be like one of the cheap indie title. Well, and the mechanics are really good, like I said. Building bridges, trophy earned, reach bridge, bridge link grade one, porter grade 18, 19. 12 handling, miscellaneous. And bridge link one. All right, then. Thanks for everything. I don't know, the character models and the up-close graphics of all the buildings and computers and stuff are really good. Like with such a simple map and simple concept, they really made it a high-quality game. But it still could be four, native 4K at 60 frames, I think. You might have one instance in the entire game of it tearing or 
a frame rate drop. But that's it, just that one instance. What the hell? We gotta plot her out. Anybody here? Let's start at Sam. We go to Capital Knot. That's it, huh? No turning points, it looks like. Well, actually, let's clear all that. We can go around this weird landmass here. Go up. We're gonna have to weave in and out of here. Get on the flat ground. What is that watchtower? Yeah, it turned out to be pretty useless in the game, but they're like the first one of the first things you're able to make. And after you know running back and forth with no equipment, and then they give you this high tech, fancy, crazy looking gadgets, you're like, I'm gonna build every freaking thing. Oh, oh enemies are scanning us. Cargo's tagged. Now, or someone has eyes on you. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. Oh, shit, Raiders. He had to run over here against this wheel as well. The guy that laid the sign, I mean. See those red things on the bottom left of the screen? That's what they're looking at. See, they have their own scanners that are pushed into the, embedded in the land, mountain landscape. Oh shit. There you go. Look at the lights on the hoodie. That's awesome. We lost them. Post box up there and another package for the way station. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. Oh great, now we gotta worry about BT. Shite. Seriously? We can't get over that. Guess we can get this package and Drop it off as lost cargo. And yeah, we're not gonna go all the way back to deliver that. We are off track too. Need a chiral glove, a lot of chiral crystals over here. They grow where there's lots of time fall. Okay, so I'm thinking I probably should have left it on higher resolution. I'm hoping that the option is like that just because it's a PS4 game and they didn't want to go and remake the whole game. So that's the best they could do to enhance it for PS5. Because I remember, if you look at games like Fallout 4, Skyrim, those were the early stages of the PS4. And if, and if, if you compare those to Death Stranding, there's such a huge difference in the same type of game. Open world, third person, first person. How could it be so drastically different? I mean, the PS5, the PS4 didn't get that major upgrades to warrant switching from 4, from 1080p at 30 FPS to 4K at 60. No software update in the world could do that for PS4. It's 
like they're throwing a temper tantrum because the game price of games they want the price of games to go up. We're gonna need a drink. So that little grayed outlined area in the beginning of our stamina meter, I don't remember what that why it's like that. Oh that might be because of the packages. Right. DT. That's usually what the got BT. Now they're gone. Oh, here they come. Don't see them now. I don't remember this area now. look like the particle effects of 1080p and the rest of the games in 4k we got God to our left in front of our front left of us. That is tense and exhilarating. Going into DTs. They're, they're a very intimidating enemy. And, and so strange. But it's a perfect combination. Mysterious. Intimidating. Unknown. Much like the rest of us, the entire game, really. Intriguing. Mysterious. the proper emotions for playing like a cinematic game but if you watch the movie thumbs up You're supposed to give us the thumbs up first oh BB's dying oh no something wrong Sam oh no get my baby so hot. <sighs> nothing to worry about its functions are temporarily suspended but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. Hurry the fuck up. BB is suffering from autotoxemia. Is there any more? Our scanner shouldn't work then, should it? Autoimmune disorder. If your BB's not performing to spec, auto toxicity. Toxicity has to be caused by something else. Toxemia can be caused by oneself. Or, you know, the toxicity is something that's not proper English. Benjamin's got a bike. Anybody home? I can't remember right now. The toxicity of let's use the banana or an ad detective 
adverb describing an objective or something like that. I can't remember. Make delivery, request cargo. Confirm. Head west, objective five complete. Six containers of rare metals. Sha. Station talks told me all about you. Sam Bridges, with the second expedition, right? The guy expanding the cargo network on his lonesome. What he's not out making deliveries. So what you bring us? Let's see it. My what? Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't sure you? Sure enough. <laughs> hey, weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Five hundred fifty five likes, S rank, connection level two point eight. That should bring our grade up. Brought it up to twenty five, nine delivery volume. Oh yeah. Okay, it's time. Do you mind connecting us to the network? Shoo. Extra 706 storage or chiral network coverage. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. The distribution center west of Capital Nice City has joined the UCA. As more facilities join, Bridges HQ will be able to provide additional functionality to those facilities, such as the ability to fabricate equipment and weapons via the delivery terminal. The range of available weapons and equipment may increase and new terminal functions and information may be added as things progress. New interview data. Mules, drone syndrome, bridge babies, time fall. New features have been added to cufflinks, mail, and data. A new option has been added to delivery terminals, recycle. Any extra tools can be recycled for resources. That's the other way you can get resources to construct things. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Keep on trucking. Good. The distro center is on the network. All right, Uncle John's been. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Sure thing, Deadman. Deadman, Deadman. We can go. Can we go to the terminal? No, that's just a private. I think we can go there from the terminal, or from the center of the room. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Trojan. We gotta deposit this lost cargo. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to the Deadman Steadman. The stud. You know you shit when everywhere you go you got your own private room and it looks like that. Ten. Hell yeah. Good. Uh, temporary excessive stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Its mother's dead. We got no uh, gear located here. Located in though. the capital, not city ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. 
These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Babies need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. Well, how could they believe one when they're looking However, at you through glass? We can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. It's both synchronizing, Ron. S Y N K R O N I N G. So it was S Y C H R O. Nice. Kid looks happy. Try adjusting the acid-dosing passage. Autotoxemia should set you much slower than now on. Uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable prone to fail. Well, that would be all of them, them no dead. On record so, remained in service for over a year. your arguments uh, move. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my baby alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about babies. As we expand the chiral network, and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You I and said in either graphics mode. Yeah, you can put HDR on. But when I played Good it on night, PS4, sir. Before the title screen even showed up, it asked you to adjust the HDR. And then if you went into the options, you could adjust it again. But now on this one, there is no option anywhere to do anything with HDR. Has it become a standard hidden thing in PS5 games? How'd you chain yourself to the bed? The sleepwalker. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Sam, can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard, still not chained up, still can't leave. Not under guard, not chained up. How is it you're being held hostage? Is that a woman? If you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. If you could just escape, I don't know, half a mile Thank away, you. and then use I your hologram to call for help. Or Use the holograms where you're there being held captive and arrange a meeting, and then escape to no the meeting. <clears throat> She's got to be some type of double agent. Or like a computer program to help one trying to control the and UCA people, and the bridges if we can't from the terrorists. <clears throat> Malware. It's like Bridget said. Extinction. Come on. The building America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escape yet. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you.
Come and find me. Come and find me. Man, I really hope Shima Production stays developing games. Hello, Sam. This is hard. Good as this one. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, what? why not take a shower? It's good Shouldn't for the body say, itself, no. and also my research, as it happens. Oh, it's actually an objective, huh? All right. My hair is to be that long, I just got a haircut though. Study other people with dooms? Everyone is riches, myself and mine. Results thus far are... That's how I know he's really hauling to those burns on his shoulder. God knows it. A few times. I think hunting in the army. I think just helping my dad do projects or something like that. Waste Dad, products in a test tube. With you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. My first weapon. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Oh, it's almost time. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Then we say you were right, Sam. Nobody likes to know it all. Sam. X grenade number zero Sorry restocked in private locker. Break, One grenade. Mail from this. George Patton. Subjects That'll more than Oxy. Mail from Ben Hancock. Sorry, Sam. Bad news. Not taking a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. I have to read some more data here. Some to more. Some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. There's some type of trick. I think it's looking at his crotch. And he blocks it. It's twice. Three times. Ha ha ha. The greens. Let's just check our table. Let's grab our shades. Grab our hat. Take an energy drink. Two and a half should give us an extra boost of stamina. Okay. 
Okay. Back out of there. Look at the terminal. New mail. Benjamin Hancock from the distribution center. Sorry, Sam, bad news. Thanks for delivering those rare metals, Sam. Everyone at the distro center really appreciates you coming through for us. Thumbs up. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, though. That bike you saw outside, its battery's dead. You have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. Sorry if we got your hopes up. And uh, I've got some more bad news for you, too. You see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials so everyone gets what they need. And to make sure that everything that's produced gets put to proper use. That's why you guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart, the whole world even. Anyway, there's this guy, George Batten, over at the way station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's like pulling teeth to getting him to make even the simplest delivery. Keep spitching about being scared and not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load and route. So yeah, that's why we're a bit short of materials at the, at the moment. I'm sure you'll soon help us put that to rights. We're counting on you, Sam. Delete. Don't think there's a delete button. Sam the man, our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We're all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up. But three years ago, three years of isolation and loneliness will change anyone's tune. Hell, when we first got here, we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot. But after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. When Central went up, I told myself this was it. America's done. Everyone was feeling it, too, and the mood was just bleak. And then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking. At first, I thought it was just the oxytocin, too. But that's not it. Not all of it, anyhow. You gave us the glimmer of hope we needed by bringing us into the chiral network. We're back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again, even. Watchtowers, too. Before long, we'll be opening up new delivery routes. Mark my words. It's still scary out there, though. All the oxys in the world won't help us deal with mules, let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one and end up dropping half our equipment. Honestly, a part of me is still a little worried that we won't be able to keep it up, and that's why we need you, Sam. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. And then we got data. We got interviews. We got an interview about meals and di the drone syndrome that happened two years ago with Die Hardman. Preach's primary objective is to rebuild America. In order to rebuild, one of our main task is to reconnect cities and other settlements by re-establishing a delivery network. Back before the Death Stranding, the comms and delivery networks were what held society together. The whole thing was automated, AI managed, deliveries carried out by drone. The belief was that taking people out of the equation would revolutionize the entire system, but things didn't quite pan out that way. Instead, we started seeing cases of what would eventually be dubbed drone syndrome. It was too much for some folks to accept, leaving everything to machines and nothing for the common man. And indeed, the oxytocin deficiency and hormonal imbalances we confirmed seemed to back up that assessment. Humanity needed to be part of the process. So laws were put in place and we stepped back into the picture again. And then what happened? All the people put out of work by machines who got called up again convinced themselves society couldn't survive without them. And that brought on a whole new disorder. Delivery dependent syndrome, they called it. When the death stranding tore us, Apart, the delivery problem spiraled even further. It wasn't helped any by the fact that chiral clouds prevented planes and drones from flying, which meant we had to go back to the relying completely on human couriers, whether we liked it or not. Eventually, living goods became all of some lived for. Become became all some lived for. They were obsessed, addicted, and consumed by the desire to deliver. Over time, they turned into mules we know and love today. The rogue human, the live porters. One year ago, Deadman said, Look, I'm kind of new here at Bridges, so I don't know if any of this will be useful to you. Still, I'm happy to talk about BBs if that's what you want. They call me Deadman, on account of my familiar familiarity with the dead, get it? We've always been on good terms, you see. We used to have regular little chats back when I worked in the morgue. Anyway, that's also the reason I work on BB maintenance and research, to learn more about those who are no longer with us. But I digress. The fact is, BBs were already being issued to our forces in the field before I joined the bridges. What's more, 
research into the little guys had already been conducted long, long ago, when no one took the plunge and put what they discovered to practical use. Still, what that did mean is that bridges is that when bridges wanted to build our own BBs, most of the work had already been done for us. We just needed to follow the instruction manual, so to speak. Which isn't to say that we have any idea how they work, not how they can can detect BTs or how they can connect this world to the other side. We still have much to learn about our little friends. But one thing is certain, their continued study will lead us to greater understanding of the stranding and of life and death itself. That much, I can assure you. Well, I think that's about all I have to tell you today. Hopefully I'll have something new to share next time. We chew, chew the fat. See you around, I guess. Timefall was first recorded when Death Stranding occurred, and despite all the years that have passed since then, we are no closer to understanding how or why it accelerates the passage of time for the objects and organisms it touches, or why it immediately turns to ordinary water after having done so. Some researchers have gone as far as to po posit that the pro this process is stealing time. As for why time follows are observed only in certain places, all that we know for certain is that it is somehow affected by local chiral concentrations. This is merely a hunch, but something in me suspects that a death stranding may have warped our perception of the passage of time. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, you understand? We humans can conceive of our own deaths and even the possibility of a place beyond death, yes? We have the capacity to conceptualize the future, an evolutionary advantage which aided our development as a species. Well, what if Timefall has given us a new supercharged version of this essential ability, one that will take us to the next stage of our evolution? Perhaps we couldn't, wouldn't need to hold ourselves up in the not cities. Perhaps in time, the death stranding will come to be seen as the phenomenon that saved our species. Exciting thoughts, I'm sure you'll agree. I, for one, can't wait to set out on our journey. Who knows what awaits us? Egyptian mummies, pyramids, etc. At what point can it be said that man truly understood what it meant to die? It would seem reasonable to, to suggest that it was when he began to bury his dead, a practice which originated with the Neanderthals. In a way, one might say that our growing understanding of death drove our development as a species. Our fear of it, our attempts to conquer it, why, it could be argued, our entire history revolves around these obsessions. Take the grant from Great Pyramids of Egypt or the tombs of the ancient emperors of China. The more powerful the person, the bigger and grander their final resting place. Or, to posit a more radical theory, could the very concepts of power in society themselves have emerged solely to facilitate the creation of such monuments? such challenges to the finality of death. Either way, in leaving behind something they hoped might endure through the ages, the builders of these edifices believed that they too might live on forever. The mummies of the Egyptians are another means by which man sought to fulfill this desire to escape the finality of death. They were created that the spiritual self, the Ka, would have a physical vessel, or Ha, to which it could return. The Sokshishbutsu, or mummified monks of Buddhism, are similar in this respect. However, the monks in question aim to transition straight from life to Buddhahood, in other words, to forego death altogether. But now that the beach has brought us into direct contact with the world beyond, our relationship with death must, death must further evolve. The next stage in our understanding is upon us. The corals of the sea, life began in the oceans, and as it evolved, it graduated to land, or at least that is what I believed until recently. To creatures of the sea, the land is a harsh and unforgiving place. Given this, what could have possibly have compelled these organisms to make such a drastic transition? Consider that fossils of the first fish to adapt themselves to land have been found in regions with unusually large tidal range. Could it be that these creatures developed legs in order to more swiftly return to the safety of the sea when they were stranded? Could their evolution leap, evolutionary leap have been triggered by a traumatic experience? If so, could similar circumstances have shaped the evolution of the coral-like organisms that inhabit the scene and driven them to develop an ability to live between life and death, between time and timelessness? Coral is, after all, older than any organism on the land and hardy enough to have weathered the mass extinction event of four, 450 million years ago. And it is a life form upon which many organ, other, <coughs> other organisms rely for survival. Bearing all this in mind, one could argue that the ability to survive in the seam is indicative of a profound evolutionary leap. Cryptobiotes, we call these bugs cryptobiotes. They were recorded in reference books and databases back before the death stranding, but nobody ever thought to give them a proper classification, so cryptobiotes, they stayed. 
They're named for the process of cryptobiosis, which means hidden life. Environmental conditions get too harsh or resources too scarce. Cryptobiotes can shut down their meta metab metabolic processes and enter an almost death-like state in order to survive. Tardigrades, I was just about to say that it sounds just like tardigrades. Tardigrades and sleeping chiromanids are capable of this too, but cryptobionts are on a whole nother level. They can survive anything, anywhere, even on the beach or in the scene, and they aren't capable of prolonging only their own lives. Humans who eat them acquire a limited resistance to time fall too. You won't find them lying around just anywhere though. You need to know where to look. Not many people even know they exist until recently, so next to no research has been done. But now that their beneficial properties have been recognized, I'm willing to bet they'll play an important role in helping us to understand the beach, the death stranding, and everything else. Logs. Okay, that's self-explanatory there. And it's got a manual, you know, tips, a whole bunch of tips. You can read those for yourself if you decide to play this lovely game. And nothing new, and we're ready to go. Damn, hopefully our stamina boost didn't... For reading their mails, they gave us like... Sam, we've received a distress call from the distro center staff. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. Never freaking ends. Orders. Oh, we gotta go upstairs. Alright. Exit, leave private room. Damn, almost out of time. Barely got, didn't get anything. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release the sun just yet. Believe me. I have to play it. Another another video here. So, if I stream games, I can get them over an hour's length, but I'll have difficulty editing them. But I don't really need to edit them in the videos that much. I just put the little like, subscribe, and the intro to outro transition, filters, layouts. Actually, I edit a lot, really. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that, Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a Dreams. face, someone I don't know. People to me. in a hospital There's this room. room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't bleed I through you effect, about this? Yeah. You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, Seven this months. is before it's even born. The procedure holds That's its about as early as you can get it, isn't it? But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process 36 weeks is nine stimuli. months. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No Strangely expert. enough, BB's the special defective BB has made it into Sam's hands. Black boxes. So it wouldn't it be co weird if it turns out to have a connection to Sam? I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's on her. It's strange we got this special BB Sam, that we've never heard of before. Of yeah, 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 I know, buddy, I know. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Pyrillium monitoring and holographic systems are not... Cairo? Unfortunately, our Cairolium? I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. It's Cairo? We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. 
Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Well, I don't even have any weapons, but I suppose I could try. Deliver lost cargo. Got a couple likes. Take on orders, recycle. We've got resins, we can recycle resins. Ladder, climbing anchor, extra boots, that's about it. Thank you, President Brigitte. She's dead. It's a really old picture then. Now we've got 640 resins available at this place. Share locker. Oh. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. Okay. We got Chip and Doyer's lost cargo, Peacemaker's lost cargo, Jen, Maya's lost cargo, resins, no cargo for Sam. I'll take the resins. Auto range. So I don't. What was on my behalf? There's nothing for me here. We got some resins. Donate. Nothing to donate. Private locker. Maybe that's what she said. Yeah, my grenades that the guy who made me. Okay, fabricate equipment. Why would we rest in the private room again? We're supposed to be taking orders. Orders for Sam. Recovery of a chiral printer interface and come right back here and collect chiral crystals. We have to be, this is from a mule camp and we have to take less than 50% damage on the cargo. How are we gonna collect chiral crystals? We need special gloves. We need one C, one C microgram. We can, as the minimum, we can bring back 100 microgram. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. Mama's a sexy little bitch. Consider fabricating one. Never know when you'll need to recon an area. Reconning the mule outposts. Huh, that sounds like what we gotta do. Why would they give us three of them? Jesus. I don't think we need three of them. Why do they want us to head back to a private room? That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. As the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your right, He's kind of dressed Kyle like Mama. Gold to the naked eye and have frequently found formations resembling human handprints. Surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, yeah. floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Yeah. Thank you for your contribution. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it says rest in private room. Let's see what let's see what news going on there. Oh damn, it's probably the cutscene that I should have freaking watched. Now we gotta re do everything all over again. Are you serious? Fucking drinking it, Sam? Must be. The private room. No, our, our stamina boost had, didn't wear off yet, even though our room was restocked. We missed the cutscene. Fucking sucks. Let's see if it's still. 
marked it, highlighted as new. It is, okay, so maybe we didn't miss anything. Maybe it's something to do with BB, I don't know. But we're out of time. This has been your boy Super Plain, Death Stranding Director's Color. I hope you enjoyed it. Would help me a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>